Today is April the, 20, the 17th, 2021, with our uh, session number two, right, of our classes. Remember, we're going to be together for um, 10 classes. This is our second class. And let's start with the information. Today, we are going to be checking verb to be in questions with verb to be probably you are this is going to be like a review all right but we're going to check some extra things about the verb to be or to uh, recall things from basics one this is basics two but we are going to be checking information from basics one okay so guys and let me uh, admit the students so, guys, uh, something important. Remember when we say hello, guys, when uno pregunta cómo está alguien, lo ideal es devolverle la pregunta, ¿ok? So, for example, some of you did, algunos lo hicieron, otros no. Entonces, no recuerdo, olviden que cuando uno le preguntan en inglés, how are you? Eh, un, pues, no responde, normal. Fine, good, eh, ok, great, not so good. Bueno, y devuelve la pregunta al quien le hizo la pregunta. How are you? O oh, how is everything, ¿ok? Pueden usar how are you también u otra. How are you doing? How are you? How's everything? No problem. Okay, please remember that. I will make sure that for the next classes you can do it. And, ay, pero un poquitillo, ay, no estoy esperando. So, it says, guys, our objective today, it, it's giving and asking for a personal information. That means like nationalities, ages, um, um, job, birth date. Okay, which is probably something you checked with your previous teacher on basics one. But today we're going to be remembering some things and maybe practicing extra things in case we need some extra practice. Okay. So guys, in our timeline, we're going to have, uh, we are going to be reading the um, uh, information we got from the last class in acta de inicio, but that's in Spanish, just in case I'm going to share it with you in case you want, um, in, in case you need some extra practice, we can uh, leave it on Brightspace because I think Brightspace is going to be ready by Tuesday or Wednesday so that you can start working there. We're going to play Guess Who. Uh, we're going to have the presentations. Remember today you were supposed to prepare a presentation with some objects. It's not Technically, a presentation is more like a description and we guess the object, okay? We're going to be practicing with guess who, which is what we practice. It's again to discover a person. We're going to have a presentation on verb to be, WH questions with be, practice with questions using verb to be. We're going to have a listening activity and we're going to practice some conversations with your partners. Then we're going to have a reading, and if we have extra time, if we have time enough, we're going to have a reading activity and play Guess Who with your part, okay, if we have enough time. I hope we can. If we don't have the time, well, no problem, we can do something else, okay? That's for today. And so, guys, please don't forget to use the information uh, for, for the classes, right? Recuerdan el vocabulario para las clases? Si llego a tener preguntas sobre, sobre palabras en inglés, ¿qué voy a decir? Si no sé una palabra, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? ¿Qué voy a preguntar? What's the word, guys? Do you remember? Does anybody remember? How do you say? Good, right? How do you say? How do you say? Blah, blah, blah. Good, eh, Cindy. And eh, si veo una palabra en inglés y no sé qué significa, ¿qué le decimos a la profe? Si veo una palabra en la clase y no, no sé qué quiere decir eso, ¿qué le preguntamos a la profe? ¿Qué le decimos? What's the meaning of? Good. What's the meaning of? Great. And eh, si, si quiero saber cómo se escribe una palabra, la profe me dijo la palabra, pero ni idea cómo se escribe. ¿Qué le digo? How do you spell that? Yeah. How do you spell that? Good. And easy. Si queremos hablar de la pronunciación, what are we going to use, guys, for the pronunciation? Does anybody remember? Yes. No. 
How do you pronounce that? Yeah, how, how do you pronounce that? No pronounce, but pronounce. Pronounce that. Very good. Very good scene. And, uh, si sí, ustedes ven que la profe está hablando, pero ustedes no escuchan nada. Ustedes ven a la profe hablando como loca ahí en la cámara y ven que se mueve la pantalla, el mouse, pero <risa> ni, no le escuchan nada. ¿Qué le han a la profe? Jessica. Does anybody remember? Sorry? I can hear you. Good. I can hear you. Excellent. Very, very good. All right? ¿O qué es lo otro? Si, si la profe está que habla, ¿qué es probable que esté pasando? ¿Qué será lo que ya tiene apagado y qué hay que decirle que tiene apagado o que prenda eso? Does anybody remember? No. The microphone, guys. Remember, we say turn on your microphone. Okay, please turn on your microphone. Mm, that's it. Okay. And that's for the information uh, about the class. Okay, guys. So, um, as I told you, there is a piece of information we should check before we, we continue with the classes. Remember, guys, uh, that if... Uh, we have this information. I'm going to share this information with you as well so that you have the time to read it like deeply. Para que lo lean mejor at home. All right. This is the acta inicio. So uh, there are some things to remember about this. Okay. They are in Spanish. Okay. Like, for example, the schedule, uh, the syllabus, all the information about the classes. Okay. And uh, things that we need to remember. Cosas que pronto dijimos adicionales a lo que está aquí. Remember, uh, we're going to, to ingresar Good. semanalmente a Brightspace. Yes. Creo que alguien me iba a decir algo. No. Bueno, mientras tanto. All right. And. Perdón, aquí alguien está intentando entrar. Ah, miren que sigue yo diciendo que no iba a entrar. <laughs> All right. Uh, guys. Something important here, entonces recuerden, eh, semanalmente vamos a ingresar a Brightspace. Eh, creo que es el, para el martes ya va a estar listo. Entonces hoy, antes de acabar la clase, les voy a mostrar, pues yo sé que hay algunos que ya lo utilizan, pero les voy a mostrar pues, cómo funciona por si quieren volver a, a ver algo corto de cómo funciona y para mostrarles qué van a tener que hacer esta semana cuando se habilite, porque yo creo que el martes o el miércoles les enviaré un correo con la información ya para que ingresen a Brightspace y puedan empezar a realizar actividades, ¿ok? Pues obviamente no les voy a pedir que ya tienen que hacer las de las dos semanas, pero pues irlas adelantando, al menos la de la primera semana. Eh, tener en cuenta que, bueno, para devoluciones o aplazamientos, la fecha límite era el pasado 14 de abril, entonces ya en este punto pues no se pueden hacer devoluciones ni aplazamientos, ¿ok? Y eh, hacer uso de inglés, recuerden, tratemos de utilizar las expresiones, no importa que quede mal pronunciado o que quede falte una palabra, lo importante es iniciar a hacerlo. Porque en la medida en que lo empiecen a usar, va a empezar a ser significativo para ustedes y van a empezar a recordar, ah, me faltó ponerle tal cosa, ah, no le puse tal otro, ¿ok? Igual se los voy a compartir junto con el, la, la circular que les compartí que día para que lo lean, no son largas de leer, léanlo porque es importante saber esa información y a veces a ustedes se les olvida y después dicen, ah, pero a mí nunca me dieron eso y resulta que si había un acta, ustedes leyeron, pero no se acordaron, ¿ok? That's about the, this information, guys. Now... Let's move on to uh, we, uh, what we were supposed to do for the last class. Remember, we, you were supposed to make a presentation about objects. Do you remember the presentation? Do you have any questions or problems with the information from the last class? Any questions or problems, guys? No, no problems. ¿Preguntas o algo sobre lo que vimos la clase pasada o sobre lo que tenían que hacer para hoy? No. So, what's the... No? Ok, good. Eh, ah, pero ya no está. Ok, so, guys, what's the idea? Remember, today you are going to make a presentation. Entonces, tenían que hacer una presentación para hoy, ¿no? Entonces, es, no, no es presentación con diapositivas, si la trajeron bien, si no, no importa. Lo importante era que escribieran el objeto en inglés y los demás vamos a adivinar. So, something important, guys, about this uh, activity. And uh, remember, uh, your partners are going to describe the object, right? Ustedes escriben. You describe the object. You describe. You describe. 
okay? The object taking into account the information about a size, shape, blah, 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 blah material, etc. And when you want to guess, cuando ustedes quieran adivinar, ¿cómo le van a preguntar a su compañero qué es? ¿Cómo le preguntamos? Supongamos que ya hicimos la descripción y ustedes ya tienen una idea de qué más o menos es. What is the question, guys? What is the question we use to ask for the object? Do you have any idea what could be the questions? Any volunteer? Yes, no. Maybe someone. Nobody? ¿Alguna idea de cómo podemos preguntarle a, a alguien? ¿Es, ¿Es esto? ¿Es aquello? ¿Es no sé qué? ¿Es hice más? No. Tan tímido soy. So, guys. Yes, ok, good. Recuerden también cuando no, no sabemos algo, podemos decir, I have no idea. I have no idea. Ok, o I don't know. I don't know. También es válido decir que no pueden, o que no saben. No, que no pueden, no, que no saben. Right? No, que no pueden. So, guys, when we know, cuando ya sepan qué es, podemos hacerle la pregunta así. Is that a bla, bla, bla? Ok. Is that a bla, bla, bla? Ok. O también podemos decir, is it a bla, bla, bla? Ok. All right, guys. When you know, cuando ya el, su compañero hizo la descripción y ustedes tienen una idea, you say, oh, eh, fulanito, is it a uh, bla, bla, bla? For example, is it, uh, example, a pen, all right? Is it a car? Is it a skirt? Is it a t-shirt? Etc. Okay? Sometimes, remember, we're going to say an, for example, if it's, if it's uh, is it an apple? Okay. Is it an elephant? Okay. Is it an um, what? An owl? Example. Okay. So you can say a or an depending of the object. Okay. All right. So who wants to be number one? Can get empezar. Who wants to be the first person to make the presentation? It's not be long enough. Who wants to be number one? Any volunteer? No? Nobody? Okay, Cindy, go on, Cindy. <laughs> bueno. Um, it's medium. Okay. It's flat and square. Squared. Okay. Square. It's uh -huh. color black or gray or red. Mm, eh, varios. Varios. Okay. <laughs> It's made of plastic and metal. Okay. It's made made in United States. Um, right. Yeah. All right. That's it. Okay. So, okay. So, guys, do you have any ideas? Could you, uh, Cindy, could you please repeat the description one more time? Okay. It's medium. It's flat and square. Uh -huh. It's color black or gray or blue or red. Uh, it's made of plastic and metal. It's made in United States. Okay, difficult. Okay, does anybody have any ideas of what Cindy is talking about? Any ideas? You guys know what it is or not really? Remember, guys, if you don't know, if you don't know, you can say this, right? You can use this question, this information in case you don't know. You can say, mm, I have no idea, I don't know. Or maybe extra questions. It's extra questions, all right? Okay? Uh, I have a question, Cindy. Is it, is, is that object something humans use uh, on their body? Is it something we use on our body or not really? Cindy Reño. Can you... What is the meaning of um, la última palabra? Body, body, the human body, the body, hands, head. Eh... Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Okay, have no idea. Does anybody know? Nelson, do you know the answer or not really? Nelson. 
Nelson? No? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, no. What is it? No? No. no. <laughs> All right. No, what about the others? Geraldine, do you know the answer? Do you know what it could be? Remember, it's possible to say I don't know, right? Si no saben, pueden decir I don't know. No problem. So? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, it's difficult, huh? What do you think, Maria Alejandra? Any ideas of what it is? No, I don't know. Oh, that's difficult, Cindy. Guys, do you have extra questions for Cindy or not really? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta para Cindy? Pronto con una pregunta podemos adivinar mejor. But in English, right? In English. Any questions for Cindy? Repeat description. The, okay, oh, good, good. Oh. All right, Cindy, go on. Okay. It's medium. It's mm -hmm. flat and square. It's color black or gray. Eh, cualquiera. Any color. Any color. <laughs> any color. Uh -huh. It's made of plastic and metal. It's uh -huh. made in United States. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea. Is it a table? Is that a table, Cindy? No. No? No, I have no idea. That and so any ideas, guys? Not at all? It's it's a cell phone. No. Okay, all right, all right. So make your guesses. There are two or three people who can adivine what it could be according to that description. Go on, Caroline. What do you think it is, Caroline? Make your guess. Invent a thing to see if we hit it or not. No, teacher. I was going to say a cell phone. Okay, so it's not a cell phone. What do you think, Edwin? What could that be? I don't teacher. I, I don't know. know. He may no. can invent invent something based on the description. Plastic, flat, squared. May can inve invent something. Like is it uh in order to practice? The idea is to practice, doesn't matter if we guess or not. For the others. What do you think it is, Edwin? Make your guess. I invent something. Caroline, sorry. Yeah, I have a question. Go on. What is square? Square. Okay, good, good. That's a great question. Let me show you a picture of a square. Oh my god. Let me show you a picture, okay? This is a square. Please hold on because the computer is not working at his at its best. So, uh, you know, this figure is a square. You see, a squared, a square. No rectangle, no triangle, squared. Right, uh, Caroline? This is a square. Yeah, Cindy. Uh, Sorry. That is. Uh, mm -hmm. Cindy. <laughs> Go on. Uh, that is a calculator. No. <laughs> no? Okay, no. Cindy. So, Cindy, what it is? What it is? What's that object? It, it is a computer. <laughs> oh, okay. You're right. But is it really metal? Portátil. A PC. Well, a PC. All right. Yes. Ye, pues yo busqué y decía que puede ser de plástico y de metal. All right. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not sure about... Well, okay, yes, it makes sense now. All right. Okay, <laughs> good. It was difficult. All right. That was good. Okay, I guess the next person is Nelson. Nelson, are you ready for your description? Yes, teacher. Go on. Go on. Go on, Nelson. Uh, one moment, teacher. Okay. Um, the object description, the size, mm -hmm. is medium. Okay. Uh, shape it's a square or round. And okay. Like a cup. A cup. A cup. A cup. Okay. Uh, color is black. Material is uh, made of metal. Okay. Origin is made in China. 
China. China. Mm -hmm. Texture is hard. Fe uh, features. 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 Uh -huh. it, it has a holes. A hold. Holes. Ah, holds it. Ah, okay. All right, all right. Could, can you please repeat the description? Go okay. on, Nelson. Please repeat your description. Okay, teacher. Uh, size. It's medium. Mm -hmm. Shape. It's square or round and shaped like a cup. Okay. Color. It's black. Material it's uh, made of metal. Mm -hmm. Origin it's made in China. In China. China. Uh -huh. Texture it's hard. Uh huh. Uh, feature. Good. It has a uh, holes. It has holes. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Does anybody have any ideas of what the object is, or you want? Do you have a question for Nelson? Yes, indeed. Nelson. Ah, Jessica, sorry, Jessica, go on, Jessica. Is that a um, pencil holder? Nelson? Yes, yes, teacher, yes. It is? It's a uh, pencil holder seat. Yes. Really? Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Okay, Jessica, very good. Guys, just in case you have wonder what is a pencil holder, this is a pencil holder, all right? Look, all right, a pencil holder. Very good, Jessica. <laughs> okay, very good, Nelson. All right, and Jessica, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Go on. Um, size is medium. Okay. Shape is rectang rectangular. No, yeah. No sé si yeah, that's okay. Rectangular. Color is gray. Mm -hmm. Material is aluminium. Okay. Features is a screen, keyboard, and mouse. Keyboard, keyboard. <laughs> okay. Keyboard. All right. Keyboard. Could you please repeat the description one more time? It is medium. Mm -hmm. It's rectangular, it's mm -hmm. gray, it's aluminum, it has a screen, mouse. All right. Okay, so guys, what is that? It's pretty easy. Is that a computer? Yes. All right. Uh, it's, a it's a laptop. It's a laptop, great. Remember to say it's made of, it's made of aluminium. No, it's aluminium, but it's made of aluminium. Made of, okay? Made of, okay, teacher. Very good, Jessica. Okay, Caroline, are you ready? Miss Riano? Yes, teacher. Go on. One moment, please. Okay. Um, size is mm -hmm. small, mm -hmm. shape is re rectangular with flat edges. Edges, okay. Um, color is green, material. Green? Yes. Okay. And material is made of beryllium and aluminum. Okay. Or it, it's from Colombia. Texture is elastic. Okay. Feature is feature. Sí. It's chi shiny, creo que se dice. And transparent. Okay, shiny, shiny. Okay, good, good. Okay, one more time, please, Caroline. Please repeat that. Um, it's a small. Mm -hmm. It's rectangular with flat edges. It's edges. Green. Mm -hmm. It's made of beryllium and aluminium. Okay. From Colombia. All it's right. Listed, it's shiny and transparent. Okay. All right. So I guess Cindy has an idea of what it is. It's the glasses. No. 
All right. Okay. <laughs> any other idea, guys? About Caroline's object or any questions for Caroline? Uh, I have a, a one question, teacher. Go on, Nelson. Uh, the first material. What is first material? Good. So, Caroline, you say bellium, Caroline? Bell uh, yes. How do you spell that? Uh, B. Uh -huh. R. D J. L. L. I. U. M. Maybe this is Y, no J, but Y? Uh, just it. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we have no idea what that is. All right. Okay, oh guys. Uh, any other person who has an idea of what it is? Jessica, do you know? Or maybe Geraldine, Ingrid, Maria Alejandra, Ana Carolina. I Oscar. have no idea, Tisha. Okay, all right. Eh, what about the others? Jimena, Geraldine, Tatiana, Sara. Any ideas of what object eh, can uh, Caroline be talking about? It is Colombian, right, Caroline? Yes, teacher. This is difficult. Okay, I have no idea. You guys, maybe Nelson. Nelson, do you have an idea of what she's talking about? I ah, know Nelson, yeah. If you ask something. I don't know, teacher. Okay. What do you think, Solangi? Any ideas? I don't know, teacher. All right. You, Sara, any ideas of what it is? No, teacher. I don't know. All right. Okay. No, we don't know. What is it? What is it, Caroline? What's that object? Caroline Riaño, what is it? Uh, is Esmeralda. Ah, an emerald, of course. Yes, <laughs> right. An emerald. That's made of beryllium? Okay. Okay, but remember, in English, we're going to say emerald. Of course, yes, it's made in Colombia, of course. All right, very good, Caroline. Very difficult, but very good uh, object. Okay, then we have... Okay, uh, who's the next person? Who's the next person? So let's talk. Uh, if there is no volunteer, let's do it with uh, Oscar. Are you ready? I know Ana Carolina. Go on, Ana Carolina. Okay, teacher. This small. Okay. Uh, is color black, red, gray, transparent. This rectangular is made of glass, plastic, and metal. Is from Colombia, China. United States, whatever. All right. One more time, please, Carolina. Could you please repeat the description? Okay, teacher. Uh, it is small. Uh -huh. It's color black, red, gray, and transparent. Okay. This is rectangular. Uh -huh. Is made of glass, plastic, and metal. Okay. This is from Colombia, China, United States, whatever. Okay. All right. Any particular features? Like, tiene algo, algo, alguna característica extra? Any features? Or not um, really? It is using cook. In cooking. Okay, okay, good. All right. Any ideas, guys? What Carolina is talking about? Teacher, um, what is shape? Ah, okay, good, good, Carolina. What is its shape? Ah, but she, she mentioned, I think you say rectangular? No. What did you say? Uh, yes, it is rectangular. Yeah, okay, this is rectangular. Okay, Nelson? And um, cylindric. Yes. Cylindric? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, any idea? Teacher. Sarah? Yeah. How do you say vasos? O sea, tomar... Glass, glass. O glass eh, in plural. Is that a glass? Okay. No. no because she said it's rectangular. Okay. Yeah. So, is Caroline? that a penny? Sorry, Caroline, can you repeat, please? Eh, is that a jelly? 
a jelly, but but it's metal, right? She says metal. No, this teacher. is jelly, right? Jelly. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. So I guess no. Is it? Is it, Carol? Eh, Anna? Is this possible? Jelly? No, teacher. No. Okay. Uh, yo, teacher. Uh, is that a mold? A mold. Okay. Mold. But okay, mold. Uh, but I am not sure if that's the word we use in cooking. A mold. Uh, this one, uh, Caroline. Hey, Caroline. No, Carolina. No. no. All right. Any other words? Yes. Is, uh, is that pot? cooking pot? Cooking pot. Okay. Pot. A pot. No, teacher. No, <laughs> right? Is no. that a uh, refractory? Uh, that's a topper, a topper, topper. Topper? Yes, a topper. No. No? <laughs> All right. Is that blender? Blender? Okay, a blender. Yes. It is? Same. <laughs> <laughs> but how come? All right, a blender. All right, all right. Okay. Okay, uh, Carol, Anna Carolina, is this okay? Okay, teacher, yes. Good, good. All right, very good. Okay, good, Carolina. Carolina, remember to say this is, right? Conecta la última S de this con la I. This is. This is, this is, this is. Okay. okay? okay. Good, very good. All right, let's go with uh, Solange. Are you ready, Solange? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> Okay, um, this is big, it is shaped uh, eight, um, it is brown, uh, it is made of wood, um, it is from any anywhere in the world, Good. it is rigid, Okay. <clears throat> and it is used to play melodies and make songs. Okay. Ah, okay. Can you please repeat? It is shaped like a what? It is shaped. What teacher? <laughs> you say it is shaped like a like an eight? Yes. Okay, all right. Can you please repeat the, the description? I think I know, but can you please repeat the instruction, the description, sorry? Okay, this is big. Mm -hmm. uh, it is shaped uh, eight. Yeah, like uh, an eight, like, like an eight. Like a eight. number eight, right? Like a number eight. No. Is that what you, no? Color. Uh, color. Color? No, sorry. <laughs> um, sí, o sea, que la forma es... No, no, no es Spanish, no es Spanish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that is okay. Just remember to say, it is shaped like an eight. Like, a, like an eight. Like the number oh. eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. No, but that is um, good. good. It is brown. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it is made of good. Mm -hmm. um, it is from anywhere in the world. Good. It rigid mm -hmm. and it's used to play melodies and make songs okay great nice description all right so i guess cindy has an idea what it is cindy is that a guitar yes correct yeah okay, very good very good cindy and jessica all right very good and uh, remember to say shaped uh, so lanji shape not shape it but shape and used is used to very good, excellent. Very good description, Solange. All right. And okay, who's next? Who's next? It's missing Oscar, Nancy, Edwin, Tatiana, Alejandra, Maria Consuelo, Geraldine, Ingrid, and Sara. Okay, Sara, go on. Okay, teacher. It's so. It's small. It's white represents love okay is shaped like an animal it's made in made in china all right okay so can you please repeat yeah. 
Could, could you please repeat the description? The description, sorry. It's the. Uh, mm -hmm. It's small. Mm -hmm. It's white. Represents love. It is shaped like an animal. Mm -hmm. It's made made in China. All right. Okay. So guys, any idea of what Sarah is talking about? Any ideas? No? I have no idea. Ideas, no idea. teacher. All right, good, good, okay. All right, Sarah, when, when is it used? In what situations do we use this object, Sarah? When is it used? Mm. Um, teacher, how do you say se usa como un regalo? It is used as a gift. It is used as a gift or as a present. It's a use as a as a, a as a gift as a gift. Uh -huh, as a gift. Okay. All right. All right. Teacher, yeah, Nelson. Uh, how do you say also a felpa? A uh, teddy bear. Teddy bear. Uh, it's, yes. Is it a teddy bear? All right, all right, good, yes. <laughs> I had no idea, very good, Nelson. Excellent, Sara. Just remember to say shaped, Sara, shaped. It is shaped as an animal. Okay, it makes, ahora tiene todo sentido, of course. It is shaped as an animal, okay. Very good, Sara, nice description. All right, and then we go with Oscar. Are you ready, Oscar? Yes, teacher. Go on. Size, and this is small. Mm -hmm. Shape. This is cylindrical. Okay. Color is. It is any color. Okay. And material. It is made of glass. Okay. Mm, origin. It is from Chile. From Chile. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. All right. What? Uh, no more. That's it. The texture, the texture ah, okay. it is um, smooth. Okay, good, perfect, smooth. Mm -hmm. Features. Yeah. It has a boober. Uh, okay, a boober. C can you spell the word boober, please? B O uh -huh. B B A I R R. Boober. Uh, no. 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 B. No, no. Okay. B. B O B B A A R. No. A R E E E E. e. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Mm. I think I'm lost. But all right. No. no. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see if your partners have an idea of what it is, guys. Do you? Does anybody know what uh, he is talking about? Mm. Ah, but continue, please, Oscar. You say it has a bobber. Okay, continue, please. Sí, o oh, no, no sé cómo, porque bobber no, pues no, no apareció ahí, o si no sería... Cork. It's okay, no problem, no problem. Probably it's, it's because we have to be specific. Don't worry, it's okay. Could be, okay. it could be your object, no problem. Okay. Continue, yeah, finish. Ah, all right, all right. Okay, any <laughs> ideas, guys, of what he's talking about? I know, but you mentioned that it comes from Chile, right? It is made in Chile. Mm, yes, teacher. All right. So any ideas, guys, what Oscar is talking about or not really? Teacher, it is a bottle of red wine. Oscar, is it? Uh, no, so-so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Any other ideas? No, guys, but yeah, I think I understand what you mean by bother. I guess I understand. Okay, so no, no ideas. Can you please repeat the material, Oscar? What's the material? It's made of glass. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, good. All right. So anybody knows? Does anybody know or not really? No ideas? 
but it's something related to what Nelson said. And when do we use it, Oscar? What is uh, when is it used? Mm. In what situations do we use it? Party. <laughs> A party. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. It is used for parties, okay? It is a uh, champagne. Champagne? Champagne. Yes, yes. It is champagne? Yes, teacher. Is not a glass? All right, very good, Nelson. The material. All right. The material. Ah, but the material for the bottle. The bottle is made of glass, but the champagne, is it made of glass? Ah, ok, no, o sea, sería eh, como la botella, no sé. Yeah, exactly, se... exactly. A bottle of champagne, a bottle of champagne. Yes, right. yes. Teacher. What do you mean by bobber? What is bobber? El corcho. <laughs> ah, is it? I think the word in English, let's see, bobber, bottle. Because I think the word is different, but I would have to check what is the word in English. Don't worry, I will see what is the word in English and I will let you know, okay? All right. Okay. Very good, Oscar. And very good for Nelson, who is very uh, intelligent to get things. Okay, then we go with Maria Alejandra. Are you ready, Alejandra? Yes, this is Go on. It's a medium shape. It's a rectangular Color mm -hmm. it's varied. Varied, okay. Yes. Material it's made of paper and cardboard. Okay. Original is Colombia. From Colombia. It's made uh -huh. Colombia or United States. Uh, other varied. Yes. Texture right. is smooth and thickness. Okay, and thick. Uh huh, and thick. Features it has cover, title, page, pictures, and drawings. Okay. And very words. And words. Okay, all right, all right. Okay. Can you please repeat the description? Eh, guys, something important about that, Alejandra, when, cuando hablamos de que tiene muchos colores, podemos decir. Podemos decir, podemos decir, it comes, let me show you, it comes in different colors, ok? It comes in different colors. Así podemos decir que tiene varios colores o que viene de muchos colores o que no tiene un color definido. Go on, Alejandra, can you please repeat the description? Ok. It's a medium. It's medium, okay. It's a rectangular. Mm -hmm. It comes in different colors. Okay. It's made of paper and cardboard. Okay. Original is Colombia. All right. Texture is smooth and thickness. And thick, okay, and thick. Uh -huh. And thick. Okay. Pictures, it has cover, title, page, pictures, and drawings. Uh, okay. No. Pictures, drawings, and very words. And oh, many words. words. Okay. All right. Okay, guys, do you have any idea of what Alejandro's object is, guys? Any ideas? Teacher, it's a it, um, book. Or notebook? Okay. Yes. <laughs> My it's a book. Okay, very good, Alejandra. Yeah. Okay, Nelson, you, you're too smart for this game. Very good, Alejandra. Nice description. Remember to say uh, it is or it comes in different colors. Good. Okay. And let's go with Jimena. Are you ready, Jimena? Hi, teacher. Hey, Jimena. Are you ready? It's medium. Okay. It's made aluminium. It's made of it's, aluminium. Mm -hmm. It's come in different color. Mm -hmm. It's from China, China mm -hmm. Colombia. Mm -hmm. And has a lens. A lens? 
Yes, teacher. All right. Uh, can you spell the word lens, please? How do you spell lens? L. It's okay. my. All right. It's made of aluminum. Mm -hmm. It's come and different colors. Okay. It's from China. Mm -hmm. It has a lens. Yeah, this is lens. Is this the word lens? Lens. Yeah, this is the word. Esta palabra que te estoy mostrando es la que me estás diciendo. No. Lens. No. How do you spell the word? L. L. E. N. S. Ah, yes. L lens. Ah, lens. Ah, lens. Ah, okay, okay. This is what you mean? It's. No. No. It's like. Thick. It's okay. like thoughts. Thick. Thick. This thick. Is that a camera? Yes. All right. Yeah, I guess the word yes is lens. Okay, okay. Good, good. All right. Just remember to say made. It's made of aluminium. All right. It's made of aluminium. Good. Uh, Nancy. Uh, Jimena. Excellent. Edwin, are you ready? Hello, teacher. Hello, Edwin. How are you? Teacher, uh, can you tell about an animal? Yeah, go on. The yes. problem is you can. Yeah, of course, go on. Okay. I am going to ask you about an animal. It is sleeps during the day. It is a mammal. It spends much of its time again, and it has other vowels in the name. Okay, I think we should read it slower. Please make it slower because we are not understanding very well. Can you please repeat? It okay. is. Okay, but it's slow. Very slow. Okay. It is. An animal. Mm -hmm. Yes, during the day, it is mammal. Is a mammal. Mm -hmm. A mammal, pardon. Mm -hmm. It's paying much of its time again. And has all the powers in the name. Okay, Another one more. Uh, it's less good. Uh, you can you repeat? Uh, you say it is a mammal, and what is next? It is. It is spends much of if staying its time. Again. again, what is again? Can you please? Excuse can me, you... again. And has all the vowels in the name. Uh huh. In its name. Another clue is that the links blue. Links blue. Yes. What is links? Links. Like, person, likes blue. Ah, likes blue. Likes blue. Likes blue. Like, likes the color blue. Blue, blue, blue. Can you spell the word blue, please? B. Mm -hmm. L. Uh -huh. U. U? No, no, teacher. B L U. Black, no. black. Black? No, 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 teacher. So. Blue. B L. Blood. B. B as in baby. Lies blood. Ah, blood, blood. Okay. This, this is the word B L O O D. Yes. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay, guys, in case you wonder what is blood, this is blood. Right? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay, so it likes blood. Continue, please, uh, Edwin. Okay, teacher. Is a bat? Yes. All right. Bat. It's a bat. bat. Yeah, is it? Yes. Okay. But tiene todas las letras, pero en español. Right? Eh, Edwin. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, yes. If you are looking for the translation in Spanish, was, yes, but in English, no. Was, in the name. But in, in Spanish, not in English. Yes, in Spanish. Yeah, because in English, it's only T-H-E. All right. Bye. I think it's good, but the translation to Spanish, ah, 
All right, Edwin. And remember the pronunciation, we say blood, okay? Blood. No blood, but blood. Okay. Blood. All right. And I think let's, uh, we are some people to go. Uh, the next person it's going to be uh, Tatiana, are you ready? Tatiana, Tatiana. Tatiana Lopez, can you hear me? Okay, first is Geraldine Parra. Go on, Geraldine. It is big. Mm -hmm. It are two wells. One more time, please. It it's are two wells. It are two wells. Okay, it's continue, are please. Two mirrors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is my my made, 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 made of plastic? Is mm -hmm. is made of plastic, mm -hmm. steel, and aluminium. Okay. It's come in different colors. Okay. It has a motor. Okay. Is use the mobiles to mobile to to move to move to move. Yeah, not to mobilize to move. Okay, all right. So you guys have any idea of what she's talking about? I have a question. It's, it's a question? bicycle. It, it's a car? No. Oh, okay. How many wheels uh, it have? Okay, <laughs> how many wheels does it have? Mm -hmm. So, Tatiana, you mentioned at the beginning, right? The wheels. Tatiana. Tatiana, are you there? Is that a bicycle? Tatiana, can you hear me? Creo que se nos fue. Tatiana. Yes, teacher. I know it, she's there, she's there. <laughs> right, Tatiana, how many wheels? You mentioned two, right? Two wheels. These are the wheels, right? The wheels. For your object, Tatiana. Hello? It's a skateboard? No. All right. It is an aeroplane? No. An airplane? It's that a um, motorcycle? Yes. All right. And remember, guys, to say here, um, is that Tatiana or Geraldine talking? I don't know. Tatiana, is that you or Geraldine? Who was making Geraldine. this? I'm sorry, Geraldine. I was talking to Tatiana. So, Geraldine, remember you say two wheels, right? Can you please repeat uh, the first part of the description? Can you please repeat the two first sentences, please? Geraldine. It is a big... It is big, it is big. Uh -huh. Pero creo que ya lo adivinaron, profe. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, sí, no, pero es que quiero corregir una cosa. Ah, ok. It is a big. It is big. It is big. It is are two words. Ok, ahí. It has. No it is, ni it are. No podemos decir it are, ni it is wheels. Decimos it has. Ah, okay. Right? It has. It has two wheels. It has two wheels, yes. No, it, it is. No podemos usar ahí. It is. It has. Vale. Ok. Y de todas formas, si utilizaras eh, are, tampoco estaría bien. Entonces, aquí lo, lo único que podemos usar es it is. It are, no, porque it, uh, are lo vamos a usar con they are, we are, para, pero con it siempre vamos a usar it's. Ok. It is. Ok. All right. Ok, very good. So, it's a motorcycle, right? As they say. Very good, Geraldine. And uh, Tatiana, are you ready? Tatiana López? Yes, teacher. Go on, Tatiana. Um, si yo oye descripción, it's small, uh -huh. it's rectangular, uh -huh. it's yellow, blue, and gray. Uh -huh. It's made of plastic and glass. Mm -hmm. It's made Colombia. Okay. It's hard. 
It has a good view. Okay. All right, guys, what do you think it is? Or any questions for Tatiana? Yes, no. The future, the future is the features? The features, repeat. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Tatiana, can you please repeat the features or the description in general? Please repeat the description, Tatiana. Okay. It's small. It's rectangular. It's yellow, blue, and gray. It's made of plastic and glass. It's made Colombia. It's hard. It has a good view. Okay. All right, all right. So what about the others? Do you have any questions for Tatiana or do you have an idea of what it is? What is hard? Hard? Know. Yeah, like a, a table is hard. But for example, uh, a, a what? Uh, a teddy bear. Remember the teddy bear they mentioned before? A teddy bear is not hard. You can squish it. It's soft. The opposite of hard is soft. Do you remember soft? Yes. So it's the opposite. The opposite, right? They are opposites. You see, soft and hard. This is hard. Okay. okay. All right. Good, good. So soft and hard. Okay. Any ideas, guys? Yes, no? When, no, no, Tatiana, when is it used or what is it used for? When do we use that object, Tatiana? In what situations do we use that object, Tatiana? Mm, okay. When is it useful? Is it used? to cook? Is it used to work? Is it used in our body? In what situations do we use that object, Tatiana? Uh, no? To say me? Say me? What is say me? Can you spell the word say me? Say me like this, say me? Say me. No. No. Can you spell the word, please? S. E. 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 Okay. Ah. M. E. M. E. See me? What is that? I don't know that word. Um, no, no, no. No? S E E M C e aparte mi. Okay, see me. Ah, to see me, to see me. Okay, it's the action, the action to see one person. Okay, okay. It's a mirror? Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay, in that case, very good, very good. We say see yourself, see yourself, to see yourself. All right, good, good. Okay, very good, Tatiana, nice. And I think it's missing, well, this person is not here. Uh, eh, Gerlino, okay, Ingrid. Ingrid, are you ready? Ingrid Roballo? Yes, teacher. Go on, Ingrid. Let's finish with you. Um, eh, bueno. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Okay. It's a rectangular, it's mm -hmm. made of glass, and mm -hmm. it serves to watch many programs. Okay. It's <laughs> from China. Okay. <laughs> it's black. It's something we all have at home. Good. Good description. It's of different sizes. Okay, different sizes. Okay. Is that a television? Is it a TV? Yes. 
Of course, very good. Very good English. That was very easy. Okay, excellent. So we already heard from Oscar, Gabriela couldn't come, Nancy, Nelson, Edwin, Jessica, Carolina, Cindy, Tatiana, Alejandra, Maria Consuelo is not here, so she can't. And uh, Geraldine, Solange, Caroline, Ingrid, and Sarah. Very good job, guys. Excellent. Uh, please give me one sec, okay? Give me one second, please. Give me one sec. Sorry, guys. So, a uh, very good job. Excellent. Nice description. So, some things to remember, guys. Please remember when we talk about the colors or the shapes. We usually say, for example, it comes, it comes in different colors. Okay. It comes in different colors. That's, that's the way we use it with colors. It comes in different colors. No, it is different colors. It comes in different colors. And the same happens with the shape. It comes, it comes in different shapes, okay? Usually we say it comes, all right? And uh, this word, this word, guys, remember the pronunciation is shaped. No shape it, no shape it, only one syllable, shaped. Shaped, shaped, shaped. That's the way we use it in English, shaped. Okay? The way we say it in English, shaped. Not shaped, not shaped, shaped. And uh, when we use the word mate, okay? Remember first the pronunciation, mate, mate. Si yo digo mate, ¿cómo pronuncio la? La va a sonar como un diptongo. ¿Qué diptongo del español es? Digo mate. ¿Qué dos vocales utilizo para pronunciar la? Miren, digo mate. Mate. Hey. A, that's right. Okay, so we are going to say madre, mate, and it is made, it is made, siempre decimos it is made of, here it is important to say of, it is made of metal, it is made of plastic, okay, it is made of aluminium, etc. Made of, it is made of, very good. And uh, I think that's it, guys. Ah, don't forget, guys. No olviden que cuando utilicemos it, si utilizamos el verbo to be, siempre va a ser is, sin excepción. All right? It is, eh, it are, no se puede. And si vamos a hablar como de lo que tiene, entonces no vamos a decir it is o it are, but it has. It has wheels, it has bottoms, right? It has, um, I don't know, it has mirrors, for example, it had mirrors. All right, that's okay. But remember, it is different to say it is and it has, okay? So remember the pronunciation here, it comes in different colors, it comes in different shapes. Remember here, the pronunciation is shaped, shaped. It is made of aluminum, it is made of aluminum, it is made of aluminum, all right? Actually, this is wrong spell, look, sorry. Aluminum, it has wheels, bottoms, and mirrors, okay? Do you guys have any questions or problems with this activity? Any vocabulary problems or questions? Yes? No, no? teacher. No? Not no, teacher. Great. I think the activity was very good, guys. Nice descriptions. Just remember to practice with the pronunciation. I think it is very good. So, guys, let's move on to the topic we are supposed to work today, which is maybe a review of something you checked in the past. I am pretty sure you checked this information before in basics one, okay? So here, in order to practice with this topic, we're going to practice with this question. Remember the pronunciation is guess. Guess, guess, guess. No guess, guess. Guess who? This works like in Spanish. Esta U -E funciona como en español cuando decimos guerra. Si cada vez que ponemos la G y la U juntas va a sonar G, right? Guess. G or G. So guess. 
Guess who? In this activity, guys, what's the idea? We're going to have some people, some pictures of people, and the idea is to practice asking questions to discover the character. Okay, so let's see the activity deeply. We're going to have here um, how many people we have. We have a lot of people here. Celebrities. Most of them are celebrity. Let's see if this charges because it's it's not uh, okay. Yes. So we have. Remember the pronunciation is guess who. Here we have in this case. Let me make it bigger for you guys. Here we have a uh, in this context, guys. We have eight people, right? We have eight different people. Okay. The teacher, that means me, I am going to select one, one of these eight people, okay? And what's your mission? To discover the person. When we play guess who in English is to discover, discover, adivinar, descubrir, discover the person. Discover the person the teacher is, talk, is thinking about or the teacher uh, is selected. So we have possible questions to discover that person. OK, the first question we usually use in English, guys, is is it a man or the other possibility is that a man? Two possibilities. Is it a man? Is that a man to discover? Because in this case, we have four men. One, two, three and four. And we have four women. One, two, three, four, four women. So. We say the question, is it a man or is that a man or is that a woman? Is that a woman? All right. Is it a man? Is it a woman? OK, to discover, adivinar if it's a man or a woman. Here we have other possibility of question, guys. Once we know if it's a man or if it's a woman, we say, is she or is he Colombian? Is she, is he American? Is she, is he 27 or is she or he 27 years old? Okay. And one uh, or another possible question is her date of birth. Is his date of birth March 16, for example? Is his date of birth March 29, for example? Okay. And here there is one question missing, the question for the job, right? So, for example, we say, guys, sorry. You can say, is he or is she a doctor, a singer, right? Or maybe an actress, okay? That's the way that we use it, okay, for the question. So remember the instruction in this activity, guys. I am going to uh, think of one of these eight people. The teacher selects one person. Your mission, guys, is to discover who the teacher is thinking about, okay? How are you going to do it? You have to ask me questions. So possible questions, is it a man or is that a man? Is it a woman or is that a woman? Once we discover if it's man or woman, una vez descubierto si es hombre o mujer, so is he Colombian or is she Colombian? Uh, the age, is he or she 27, okay? And uh, is his date of birth this or that? Is he or she an actress? Okay. Uh, is the instruction clear or not really? Please let me know if the instruction is clear. What do you think? Is the instruction clear or not really? Yes, teacher. Yeah. It's okay. Clear, so teacher. I am. Going to, okay. For everybody, no problems with the instruction. Uh, let's see. We have here uh, Geraldine, Ingrid, and Maria Alejandra. Any questions about the instruction? No, teacher. No, okay. Uh, Cindy, Carolina, and Oscar, any questions about the instruction? No, teacher. No, teacher. No. It's clear. Okay, good. And Caroline, Edwin, and Jessica, any questions about the instruction? No, no teacher. teacher. No, good. Nancy, Nelson, and Solange, I guess Nelson mentioned before no. Nancy, and Solange, and Sara, any questions about the instruction? No teacher. no, teacher. Okay, great. And Tatiana and Geraldine, any questions about the instruction? No, teacher. Great. No, teacher. 
So guys, here we have, remember, I am going to select, I am going to select one person from these uh, for eight people. In your mission, it's to discover who that person is. Okay, so what is the first question for the teacher? First question for the teacher. Is it a man? No, no, it is not. It's not a man. So next question, next question. Is she American? Uh, yes, she's American. She's a singer? Yes, she's a singer. Is she a singer? Yes, she's a singer. It, is it a uh, Lady Gaga? Yes, it is Lady Gaga. All right, good, good. Okay, so there we go with the next person. Next activity there. Uh, all right. Okay, guys, I'm ready. Next person. So the first person, la primera, Lady Gaga. Next person, ahora otra. So who wants to do it? First question, is guys. Is it a woman? No, it is not. Yeah. Is he is she Colombian? Uh, but you have to make a decision. Is he or is she? Is he, is he Colombian? Yes, he is Colombian. Is that a man? Yes, it is a man. Is he a soccer player? Yes, he is a soccer player. He is James Rodriguez. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right? Very good. Very good. Okay, guys. Here we have other uh, eight people. Okay? Here we have other eight people. All right? So, uh, let's guess again. So, questions for the teacher. Is is a woman? Uh, no, it is not. It is is not he a American? No, it is not American. Is he Uruguayan? 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 Yes, he is Uruguayan. <laughs> he is Pepe Mujica. Yes, all right. Very good, very good. Okay, and finally, last person, last person. So, let's finish with the last one, guys. Última persona para adivinar. Go on. Is, is it a man? No, it is no. not a man. Is it a singer? No, it is not a singer. Is she... 35 years old. Yes, she's 35 years old. She's Katherine Ibarwin. That's right. Okay. So guys, as you can see here, we are using a lot, a lot of you verb to be questions, right? Verb to be questions. Questions in English with the verb to be. Questions in English with the verb to be. So why? Because uh, we are going to talk about the verb to be. Okay, so my first question, guys, about these questions is what elements can you identify? ¿Qué elementos ven en esas preguntas? ¿Qué hay? ¿Qué, qué, qué, qué necesito para hacer esas preguntas? What elements do we have in the questions? Aquí se estamos hablando de preguntas. So, for example, in this now. Okay, so first of all, very good. We have the verb to be, right? That is the first element. We are going to use verb to be. So, for example, am, um, is, are, right? We have the verb to be. Okay, what is next? Pronoun. The subject. pronoun. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Or the subject, that's right. So we have am, um, is, are. Number two, the pronoun or the subject. So examples of subjects, examples of pronouns, examples de pronombres o sujetos. We. We. I. I. He. he. Exactly, she, he. Mm -hmm. Puedo utilizar his? Puedo usar his? Yes. No. No. Teacher. no. no. All right. We can say we, I, she, he, they, right? Sorry. They, you, all right? And then what is next? Complement. A complement. For example, examples of the complements we have there. Complements. 
B, B. Sorry. Examples, examples. ¿Qué ejemplos hay aquí de complementos? ¿Qué hay? A doctor, Ex. Colombian, Mary. So we have occupation or jobs, right? Nationalities. Nationalities, nationalities, right? What others? Marital status. Marital status, that's right. Okay. Y falta un elemento que es muy importante. Ajá, the age too. That's a good one. Falta un elemento que es importante en la pregunta. What's the last element? Que solo lo vemos de forma escrita. El mark question. The question mark. That's right. Question mark. Okay. The question mark. So remember the question mark is this one, right? En inglés solo usamos una. En español usamos dos. En inglés solo usamos la del final. Siempre. Ok, por regla general del inglés, solo usamos question mark at the end, solo la del final, la de cerrar la pregunta. So, remember the questions. In this case, porque solo estamos viendo las del verbo to be, porque hay otras que podemos usar, we can use verb to be, am, um, is, are, in present form, in past form. In this case, we are talking about present, but we can use past too. We use a pronoun, we, I, she, he, they, you, ok, and we use the complements as Professions or occupations, doctor, singer, actress, teacher, engineer. Nationality, so Colombian, Uruguayan, American, British. Marital status, married, single, without, divorced, etc. Age, so in this case we mean numbers, right? Numbers like uh, 15, 20, 21, 16, etc. And... Cuando lo escribamos, porque de forma oral no decimos question mark, pero es forma escrita si lo ponemos. So, the question mark. ¿Ok? ¿Any questions or problems with this uh, structure? ¿Problems or questions? Hasta, up to this moment, ¿problems or questions? No, no teacher. No. Ok, no les no, quien pregunta, no les dé miedo preguntar, no hay problema, podemos explicar. And uh, that's for the questions with the verb to be, right? So we use verb to be, like in this case, sorry, sorry, guys. We say, uh, am I a doctor? Are you Colombian? Is he married? Are we all? Are they singers? We use the pronouns or the subjects. Podemos cambiar she for Lady Gaga, for example. Is it possible or not really? Yes, teacher, it's possible. Yes. yes. That's right. Okay, very good. Excellent. So we can change he for Lady Gaga or, uh, sorry, she for Lady Gaga or we can change he for Nelson or we can change they for Tatiana and Jessica, etc. Okay, and finally we have in the complements, in this case, a doctor, okay, uh, for nationalities, Colombian, marital status, married, remember the pronunciation, married. Uh, for the age, we can say all or maybe a number. También podríamos usar un número en vez de all, right? Are we 30, for example? Okay. And again, we have a profession, occupation, or a whatever, or a job, singer. Okay, very good. That's for the, uh, the answers. And in, in, in all these questions, in all these questions, the answer is going to be yes and no, all right? En todas estas preguntas, la respuesta va a ser yes or no. Yes or no, okay? So, for example... If we have here, guys, uh, is he is he Venezuelan? Is he Venezuelan? No, 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 he isn't, right? No, he isn't. Is she Venezuelan? Yes, yes, she is. She is. She is. Are they American? Are they American? Yes, they are. Okay. Yes, they are. Okay. Is she Colombian? No, she no, isn't. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Very good. Excellent. Is she is she a politician? Yes, yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Okay. Yes. Is he is he married? Is he married? No, no, no. She isn't. She isn't. She isn't. no he isn't. All right, that's right. Okay. For these questions, para todas estas, the answer yes or no. Now, guys. We have other questions. Aquí tenemos otras. In this case, guys, the question is not going to be yes or no. Okay? In this case, the answer is going to be longer. Aquí vamos a necesitar respuestas más largas, ¿no? Aquí no nos sirve yes or no. For example, guys, we have a... 
the first one, okay? When we talk about nationalities, for example, we say, where are you from? Or what's your nationality? Where are you from? What's your nationality? Where are you from? What's your nationality? Okay? So in this case, what is the first element? What is the first element in this question, guys? Because remember w in the WH mm -hmm. question? Exactly. So for example, in this case, what is the WH question? Where? Where, all right? Or in this case? What? 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 In this case, we have? How? How old? Okay, aquí necesitamos how, how old, all right? How old and? Again, what? 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 Okay, so we have, in this case, the answers are going to be longer. Aquí vamos a necesitar respuestas más largas. No nos sirve yes or no. Okay? And here we have this one, guys. Remember, here we have what? What's your job? Or what do you do? Obviamente, en what do you do, no estamos usando verbo to be. Podemos usar la primera, pero si me preguntan, creo que es más común hacer la segunda pregunta que la primera. Okay? So we say, what's your job? Or what do you do? What's your job? What do you do? Ambas se pueden, no es que una esté mejor que la otra, pero creo que es más común preguntarle a alguien what do you do que what's your job, okay? And so guys, in this case, for example, in this, in this case, what is the question? It says I'm from Colombia or I'm Colombian. What is the question in I'm from Colombia? Where are you from? Okay, so where are you from, right? And in this second one, What's your nationality? Yes, what's your nationality? Okay, don't forget something, guys. When we say, where are you from? We say, I am from Colombia. When we say, what is your nationality? I am Colombian, pero no vamos a confundirlas como I am Colombia. No, I am from Colombia. And what's your nationality? I am from Colombia. No, I am Colombian. ¿Sí ven la diferencia entre Colombia y Colombian? The difference yes. here, guys? Yes. From. Right? I'm from Colombia. I am Colombian. And for this question, guys, what are we going to use here? What's the question here? How old are you? Oh. you? Good. All right? Hay otra que pronto no es tan común, que es what's your age? También la pueden usar. Ambas se pueden. How old are you or what's your age? How old are you? What's your age? Es más común escuchar how old are you, pero a veces le pueden decir a uno what's your age? Entonces, para saber. Just remember, recuerden lo que vimos hace ocho días, no vamos a utilizar have, porque eso es español. We're going to say I am, right? I am 63, I am 34, I am blah, 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 blah. I am. Never I have. Okay, ay, ay, ay. Okay, my dog is... Don't be silly. Okay, ay, ay, ay. So, guys, in this case, remember we have two possibilities. What's your job? Okay, utilizaríamos verbo to be. O la otra en la que no lo usamos, que es what do you do? What do you do? Okay, what do you do? And oh, here we have examples, guys, for these questions, okay? In this case, we have the first question is, where's she from? Where is she from or where's she from? Where's she from, guys? What's the correct answer? What do you think? Where's she from? Maria Alejandra, what do you think? Where is she from, Maria? She's from Spain. Good. Yeah, yeah. No, that she's, she's from Spain. Very good. And how old is she? How old is she? Uh, Geraldine, how old is Penelope Cruz? What's her name for her? name is for Penelope Cruz. How old is she? Uh, Geraldine, what do you think? How old is Penelope Cruz? Any ideas? No? You just make She's a... She's mm -hmm. 46. 46. 46. Yes, right? She's 46 years old. All right. Excellent. And, well, her birth date. Her birth date. Can, is there a volunteer to tell me her birth date? ¿Algún voluntario que nos quiera decir birth date in English? Does anybody remember how to mention the birth date in English? It's April 28th. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 1974. 74, 74. Okay, but remember, eh, no April. No April. What's the pronunciation of that month in English, guys? April. 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 Good, good, good. April, 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 April. All right. ¿Cómo va a sonar la A, Nelson? Si yo digo April, ¿a qué? ¿Qué dos vocales mezclo ahí para pronunciar la de esa palabra? What's the pronunciation? Uh, 
April. Exactly, April. Y la IL, guys, creo que por regla general del inglés, pero me pienso, no sea que yo diga una, una locura y después ustedes digan, pero la profe Diana dijo. Eh, si no me equivoco, creo que la, por lo general esa terminación IL en inglés suena como all. Más que una IL como del español, sonaría como all, all, April. April, 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 April. All right? Porque también está pencil, que no decimos pencil, sino pencil. Eso sería más bien April. April 28, 1974. Very good, Nels. Okay, and what does she do, guys? What does she do? What is her job? She's an She's actress. She's an actress. That's right. She's an actress. Okay. Ah, pero algo importante aquí en la pregunta, miren, aunque decimos what does she do or what's her job, en la respuesta sí vamos a usar verbo to be. She's an actress. She's a politician, etc. Okay. Then we have, guys, this is about Penelope Cruz. Oh, my God. And, uh, well, we already mentioned her birthday, which is April 28, 1974. All right. Now we have, guys, this man, this man. So here we have in the questions again, remember we have the WH question, where, verb to be is, where is, and, well, the subject or the uh, pronoun, he. So he, where is he from? What is he from? What is he from, guys? What is he from? He's from a New York. Ah, uh, not really, not really. What is the other possibility? Oh Where is he from, Ingrid? He's not from New York, so... He's from... United. Oh my. USA? Hawaii? Yeah, but in this case, he's from... Hawaii. 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 Yeah, he's from Hawaii. Good. How old is he? How old is he? How old is he? How old is he, guys? What's his age? Any volunteers? He is uh, 59. He's, actually, he's 59. He's 59 years old. Okay? And uh, Edwin, what does he do, Edwin? What does he do? What does Barack Obama do? He's a politician. Yeah, politician. 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 Yes, he's good. A Politician, shan, shan, shan. Okay. One more time. What does he do? He's a politician. Excellent. Very good pronunciation, Edwin. All right. And guys, here we have this one. Remember, he's 59 years old. 59 years old. So what's his birth date? Any volunteer to tell me his birth date? Volunteers to mention his birth date? It's August mm -hmm. 4, 1970. Yeah. 1970? No, not really, not really. Other possibility? It's August. August? For uh -huh. 1961. Excellent, All right? August 4, 1961, that's perfect. Very, very good. And we already mentioned this, guys. Guys, what about this brand, okay? How do you say in English marca? How do you say in English marca? Mark? Not really, it's... no. Okay, not really. We don't say mark, we say brand. Brand. A brand. Exactly, right? Brand. So we have brand. Okay, remember the word is brand. B-R-A-N-D. Brand. It's a brand. So, guys, we have this brand. Okay, remember this is a brand like Pepsi, um, Colgari, Colgari. Okay, those are brands. Brand. No mark, brand. So, What can you tell me about Faber Castell? Remember, Faber Castell is a brand. So, Carolina, Carolina Guerra. Carolina Guerra, like the model. Where is Faber Castell from, Carolina? Where is Faber Castell from? It's it from Germany. Good. Excellent. All right. And how old is it? How old is it, uh, Oscar? How old is Faber Castell? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here we have two possibilities. Aquí tenemos una clave. Look, look. What do you think? How old is okay. Faber Castell? Uh, Are you using a calculator? <laughs> <laughs> It is to to fight. 
259. That's right. 259 years old. Okay. Yeah, we have 259. Okay. And what does it do? What does it do? What does Faber Castell do, Nelson? What does Faber Castell do? It, uh, it manufactures uh -huh. sub, uh, supplies. Supplies. That's right. Okay. It manufactures classroom supplies. All right. Okay, guys. And look, this is my, my friends and I. This is the teacher, Diana. That's me. And my friends, some of my friends, okay? So my first question is, where are we from, guys? What do you think? What is in your opinion? Where are we from? Uh, Caroline, what do you think? Where, are, where is uh, the teacher and her friends from? Where are the teacher and her friends from? So the options are you are from Bogota or you are from Cali. In my case, um, Caroline, what do you think? Where are we from, Caroline? And uh, you're, you're from Bogota? Yeah, that's right. Then we have, guys, how old are we? How old are we? Me and my friends. My friends and I are, what do you think, uh, Edwin? What do you think? How old is the teacher and her friends? How old are the teacher and her friends? Make your predictions. Teacher, cambiaste la diapositiva. Really? Sorry. So, Edwin? Hello, teacher. Hello, Edwin. <laughs> so, how old are the teacher and her friends? You are 65. Yes, right. You are 35. Good. And this is the easiest question ever. So, Jessica, what do we do? What do we do? What do my friends and I do? Your uh no, your teacher. That's right, teachers, right? Very good. Okay, guys. And here we have from uh other perspective, guys. Here we have these people. Okay, so my first question is uh guys, what are their names? What are their names? What are Ronaldinho. their names? Ronaldinho and um, Cristiano. And Ronaldo, yeah, Ronaldinho and Ronaldo, right? Ronaldinho and Ronaldo. So, Jimena, where are they from? Where are they from, Jimena? They're from mm -hmm. um, Brazil. That's right, excellent. And uh, how old, how old are they, uh, Nelson? How old are they? Um, they are... Um, 40 and 43. Yes, I agree with you. They are 40 and 43. Okay. And finally, uh, Sara, how old are, what do they do? Sorry. How, what do they do, Sara? Uh, they are football players. That's right. Very good. They are football players. Good, Sara. Okay. And guys, okay. Now, in this case, guys, if I ask you about you, Okay, where are you from or what's your nationality? Remembering the answers, we're going to say I am from or I'm, right? So if I ask some of you, for example, Tatiana, where are you from or what's your nationality? I'm from Colombia. That's right, okay. Oh, I'm Colombian, that's right. Okay, I'm from Colombia, I'm Colombian, right? Check the difference, guys. And about her nationality or where is she from, guys? Where is she from, Geraldine? Where is she from? She from Peru. Yeah, all right. She's from Peru. Okay. Or what is the other possibility? She's Peruvian, right? She's Peruvian. Good, Jessica. And Jessica or Geraldine? She's Geraldine, Geraldine. Sorry, Geraldine. And Remember, we can say she's from Peru or she's Peruvian with the contraction or she is from Peru. She is Peruvian. All right. What about this guy? What about this guy here? Eh, Oscar. He's from Argentina. Yeah, Argentina. Argentina. All right. Argentina. Or his nationality. What is his nationality? 
argentino. Ar <risa> Argentinian. Argentinian, that's right. No argentino. <risa> Argentinian, that's right, that's right. No argentino, Argentinian. All right. And what about these guys? Uh, what is this in English, guys? What is this? What's this called in English? Eh, in English, well, I mean, in, in, in Latin America, porque no creo que tenga palabra en, español, en, en inglés. Tamales. Ayacas. Mm, yeah. It's ayacas. It's ayacas. No tamales, but ayacas. These are ayacas. So, Ingrid, where are the ayacas from? Do you know, Ingrid, where are the ayacas from? Um, Venezuela. Yes, but in the long answer, so. It's from Venezuela. Yes, or it's Venezuelan. That's right, that's right. Okay, yes. All right. And look at the pronunciation. We say Venezuelan. Venezuelan. All right, Venezuelan. And obviously, we, most of us are from Colombia. Here we have these two people, guys. Do you know what are their names? Does anybody know what their names are? Alejandra, do you know their names? No, teacher, I don't know. Oh, you don't know them? Good. What about Cindy? Do you know them, Cindy? Miss Erreño, do you know these people? Uh, he, he is Pepe Mojica and... Uh -huh. Ay, este señor. I don't know. Se me no. olvidó. I don't. I, as your partners, as your partners. ¿Cómo le preguntamos a tus compañeros? El mortelo. <laughs> All right, that's Suarez. Suarez. Right. So, where yes. are they from? Where are they from, Cindy? Uh, they they are from Uruguay. Yes. All right. They are from or, Uruguay. They, or they are Uruguay. Uruguayan, yes, Uruguayan, that's right, that's good, okay, they are from Uruguay or they are Uruguayans, all right, so guys, here we have to complete the question, guys, how can we ask this question using you, can anybody remember what's the question here? Where are you from? That's right, so where are you from, right, where are you from, remember the elements? We use uh, where are you from, okay? So in this case, the same question, but for him, what would be the question, guys? If we use where, where is where is he from? Where is he from? That's right, okay. Verb to be. Where is he from? That's right. And for them too, for they too, guys. Where are they from? Good. Where are they from? Right. Where are they from? Good. 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 And in this case, guys, if we have this question, this um, this this sentence about yourself, guys, we say, for example, what is missing here? I am from. I am from. Mm -hmm. um, I am from Colombia. Or I'm. Uh -huh, I'm from Colombia. I am from Colombia. I'm from Colombia. I am from Colombia. What about her? She's from Mexico. Yeah, very good. She is from Mexico. She is from Mexico. Good. Okay. And if we talk about you and her, if we are included in the from. Mm -hmm. We are from? Latin America. We are from Latin America or Latin America. Good. Okay, guys. Now, let's complete here. What is the correct option? Am, is, or are? Are. 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 Great. Are. So, can you please read the question? One person to read the question. Where are, Where you, are you from? Good. Where are you from? Excellent. Then we have. Um, um, I am from Bogota. Perfect. This one. Is. So. Shakira is from Colombia. Great. Next. My mother and um, I am from Peru. Okay, pero tenemos un problema porque dice my mother and I. Ahí no ah. vamos a poder usar exactly. Okay, entonces ah. hay que tener cuidado cuando usemos I, porque si está solito va a ser am sin problema, pero cuando viene acompañado de alguien más no vamos a poder usar am. Aquí es plural. Entonces vamos a usar are. Okay, so can you please read the answer here, guys? My mother and I. My mother and I are from Peru. That's right, okay. Entonces hay que tener en cuenta cuando utilicemos I, si, estamos usando, si hablamos 
solo de mí o estoy incluyendo a alguien más. Si incluyo a alguien más, seguramente va a ser are. Si solo estoy hablando de mí, va a ser am. Um, ¿Ok? ¿Cómo reemplazaríamos my mother and I? ¿Con qué pronombre lo podríamos reemplazar? We. We. That's right. Good. What about this one, guys? My friends are from mm -hmm. Venezuela. That's right. Very good. Remember here to say friends. Friends, 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 friends. ¿Qué no pronuncio en friends? Miren, friends. Friends, 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 friends. La I. Exactly. So we are not going to say friends, but friends. My friends are from Venezuela. Okay, what about this one? Where is Where is from? from? Excellent. All right. What about this one, guys? Are. Okay, so please read the answer. Pandas. Pandas are from, pandas China. Are China. from China. Good, Ewi. Please China. repeat, Ewi. Please repeat. Pandas are from Chinese. China, China. China, China. okay. Pandas yeah. are from China. Great. Okay. okay. And what about this one, guys? What's the answer there? I am a teacher. Great, Caroline. This one? Gerard, Gerard is from Germany. That's right. And what about this one? Guys? Volkswagen is from Germany. Great. Volkswagen is from Germany. And here, guys, we need to select what is the correct uh, pronoun here, okay? For example, it says Evo Morales is from Orinoca. Is Bolivian. So, what is the correct answer? I, you, he, she, it, we, they, they, he, she. he. <laughs> so we have all the options. He, he, las opciones. he she, and they. ¿Qué he, 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 he. 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 The correct answer. He, he, right? Porque es él. Evo Morales. So he is Bolivian. He. No she, no they. No nos sirve he. No nos sirve she. Porque es una mujer, no es una mujer. Y they tampoco nos sirve porque no es plural. Es solo una persona y no podemos decir they is. Recuerden que con they solo podemos usar are. No nos sirve is. Porque is es para uno, they es plural. No pueden, son agua y aceite. No los puedo mezclar. What about this one? I am a teacher. Uh -huh. I am from Colombia. That's good. Perfect. What about this one? My parents, My parents are from are Colombia. From they are from Dinamarca. That's right. So here we're going to say they, right? They. Good. And what about this one, guys? Shakira is Colombian. She's from Barranquilla. Good. All right. My brother and I are from Bogota. We are we Colombia. Are. Great. We are Colombian. Good. And... Renault manufactures cars. It is from France. Great. It is from France. All right. And finally. They are my you are. students. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but in this case, good. Si yo lo dijera, si fuera yo la profe, diría, si, you are my students. Si ponen they, it's okay. Por si lo dijera yo, sería, you are my students. Very good, guys. So. We're going to practice before the break with this activity. Please pay attention to the instruction here. Guys, I'm going to give you this link. Your mission, your first mission is to write your name, your name. So my name is Pepito Perez, so write Pepito Perez, example. Okay, and you click on start, okay? Write your name and click on start. Here, in this first activity, guys, what you have to do is to select the correct word. Okay, for example, in this case, what is the correct one? Am, um, are, or is? Is. 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 So, is it a man? And we click on submit answers. Click on submit answers. So, good. All right. What about the second one, guys? Are we are. teachers? Are. Exactly. Are we teachers? And click on submit answers. That's right. What about the next one? Is she, she married? married? She yes, married. good. Is she married? That's right. Excellent. And what about number four? We are the, where are, where they, are they from? from? Where are they from? That's right. Okay. 
What about the next one? What are What's they are nationality? Vos a hablar, pero yo no diría que es are. Look. What is? What is? What is? Because it's their nationality. Si dijera their nationalities, ahí sí no serviría. Pero como dice nationality, solo es una. We can have, we can only use is. What about this one, guys? How old are you? Are you? How old are you? Good. Mm -hmm. And what about this one? Are you Argentinian? Exactly. Are you Argentinian? Great. Okay. What about this one? Is, is he? Is he? Is he? An that's right. An architect. Good. Good. All right. And what about this one? Am um, I? Good. Am I? Am I thirty-five? Mm -hmm. Am I 35 years old? And finally. What your job? Yeah, but we hear what, what, is, what, is, what, what is, is your job and submit answer. OK, so guys, before we finish here, something important. Oh, remember something here, guys. Uh, OK, remember the instruction. You're going to use this link, write your name down and click on start. Is the instruction clear or not really? Is the instruction yes, clear? Teacher. Yes, All right. teacher. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to take, um, what, two minutes. It's not difficult. You just have to drag and drop the answer. Arrastran y sueltan la respuesta correcta and click on submit. No olviden. Arrastrar, drag, soltar, drop, drag and drop. Y click on submit. OK, click and submit, que es enviar, submit the answer. Please let me, OK, copy paste the link in the chat box. And uh, please confirm if you can see the link, open the link and let's do the activity. OK, the link is in the chat box. Can you see the link in the chat box? Yes, T-shirt. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take two minutes to do that. Please don't forget to write your name. All right, with your name and last name, if you can. And then you just have to uh, click on submit, submit answer, submit answer. Please confirm. Todos pudieron verlo? Could everybody open the link? Todos pudieron abrir el link? Yes, teacher. Yes, good, good.
Okay, guys, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. 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 Teacher. All right. Let's see. And all right. Here we have the one. Would we have to select the correct words? Let's see. We have the answers from um, Oscar. We have Oscar Barbosa, eh, Carola Irriano, uh, Nelson Cuellar, and Cindy Reño, Jessica Grajales, Carolina Guerra, and Geraldine, Geraldine, Geraldine Parra, Sara. Sara Urueño and Ingrid Roballo. So I'm missing the answers for Nancy. Nancy, how's it going? Nancy, Edwin, eh, Tatiana, Alejandra, and Solangi. How's it going, guys? I don't have your answers. What's the problem here? So let's see. Ah, okay, we already have Maria Alejandra. Sorry, Maria Alejandra. We have Maria Alejandra's answers, Tatiana's. And uh, Solange is missing Solange and uh, Nancy. Nancy, can you hear me? Ah, no, mentiras, Jimena. Sorry, Jimena, you're here. Edwin is missing Edwin and Solange. Edwin and Solange. Are your answers here? Edwin and Solange. Hello, hello. So what happened here? Hello, hello, Edwin and Solange, can you hear me? Guys, we are going for a break. Yes, me faltan Edwin y las respuestas de Solange. Edwin and Solange, ¿me escuchan? I don't have your answers, guys. What happened? So, guys, we're going to have a break. We're going to be on break up to uh, 10.30, okay? 10.30, we come back for the break from the break, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, see you in 30 okay, minutes. Teacher. Okay, guys. 10 to 10.30. See you in uh, 30 minutes. See you in 30 minutes. Oh, see you in 30 minutes. Bye-bye. <laughs> 